Okay, so before we jump into this video, for those of you guys that weren't in the live stream this past weekend, I did a drop at the official merch store for Six Scale Economists. I'm going to hit put the link in the description below. So if any of you guys want to check that out, obviously it supports the channel a bunch if you guys want to cop any of the new merch. But in this video, we're talking about Django Fett, Hot Toys, Hot or Cold. This is Six Scale Economists. Let's jump right into it. What is going on to be a video? This is Six Scale Economist. In today's video, we're doing an official hot or cold investment analysis on the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Django Fett. As always, first we're going to talk about this figure from a collection perspective, and then we're going to talk about it from an investment perspective. So look, obviously this this figure uh, was shown, I think it was, what, two two years ago now? Two years ago, we were first shown this at San Diego Comic-Con 2019. Um, and obviously, like everyone was very excited. Look, it's Django Fett. It's cool. Um, it's great that we're finally actually getting to see a release. Um, you know, maybe that gives us hope that maybe one day we'll see figures like Baze Malgus. I don't know, but um, it's nice to see Hot Toys actually deliver on something that they showed us so long ago. Uh, you know, this one seems to me like it's easier for them to make this one as opposed to making Baze because this basically is just like a repaint-ish of ba Boba Fett. With that being said, it's like a pretty vast repaint and a new head sculpt. But from a collector's perspective, like it looks really cool. I really like it. Um, it seems like people are more hot on Django Fett than I am. I was never complaining that Hot Toys like still hadn't given us Django Fett. Like I was, I'm more wanting Bespin Luke than Django. Um, you know, it's from Episode Two. Not, I'm not a huge fan of Episode Two. Boba Fett definitely I prefer to Django. Um, but nevertheless, it's like a great figure to have uh, in the collection, and one that I am pretty excited about. Um, the head sculpt looks fantastic. He's going to look great next to Count Dooku. Um, seeing Django now kind of begs the question, maybe we should, you know, be getting those super battle droids because it would look pretty cool to have, like, Dooku and Django and some battle droids behind it. Um, again, I'm not tripping over myself to beg for any droids, though. I'm more than happy to get all the clones rather than the droids. Um, this is a cool shot, too. I like I liked, I liked how they gave us this head speed, headset that he wears uh, when he's flying Slave 1. Um... Colors are great too. I do like the blue. Um, an interesting material choice that they chose to use for this part. I don't think they did that with Boba. I can't tell, and I can't tell if the backpack is going to be. I really hope that it's not. Oh, it is. That's so unfortunate. It's the so this backpack is going to be the same back that was on the Boba Fett. Horrible, horrible choice. Um, for those of you guys that don't have the Boba Fett, it's basically like this super small plastic clip, um, and there's no magnet, so. First off, it like flops around like this off of his back, and this is super easy to rip. And if you rip it, I don't even know what you would do if you'd rip it. I, I like you just have to glue it. Like this piece is connected to this back shoulder plate. Um, really unfortunate that they ch still haven't decided to upgrade that. That should just be a full magnet. Um, you know, and, and take a look at everything he comes with. He comes with a ton of accessories, um, and for the price point that he comes at. He's expensive. There's there's no question about it. He's expensive. Um, he comes with so many like gimmicky accessories that like I have found as I've like you know continued to grow my Hot Toys collection. Um, I, I feel like I don't need a lot of these accessories. Like like this like I don't even this is, oh this is like for the worm. One of these is for like the poisonous worms. This is like a um, ear temperature. So if you want to check your temperature, you stick this part in your ear and you can check Django's temperature. The guns are absolutely needed. Um, the flame effect uh, is nice. This zipline thing, I can probably do without. This thing is cool. I guess I'd keep it. Um, the extra helmet with the dent definitely didn't need that. Um, this headset is cool. Um, these flame effects I like. The one with the rocket flying out, I don't like. I think that's going to look like too kiddish. I probably wouldn't display it like that. So all in all, it's like they kind of just threw in a bunch of accessories that nobody really asked for, and then they made it 285. Mm, I don't know. So let's talk about it from an investment perspective. Um, it's going to be fine. It's Django. Um, but like the, the, the marketplace for Star Wars hot toys has changed with, with Mandalorian and Clone Wars. And so it's like I said, with the, um, uh, like the Coruscant guard or sorry, with the death watch Mando, like you have to be a bit more picky and choosy with some of your figures. Like if you're going all in on Clone Wars and you don't think you're going to have the budget for Django, like maybe this isn't one that you need to pick up on. Um, he doesn't come, like, there's not that many great companion figures that he can go well with. Like, I guess if you want to, like, cross movie, you can do, like, a pretty cool shelf with, like, Django and Boba next to each other. I actually think that would look pretty cool. Um, obviously, he's going to look good to Count Dooku. But other than that, like, 
you know, you have episode two, Obi-Wan, and there's not like a whole bunch of things that can go really well with Django that are really going to complement this piece. And so, while I think it will be fine from an investment perspective, it's one that just doesn't seem like super crazy to me. Um, but this one's kind of tough to tell. Like, I'm, I have been surprised with how many people I've seen be like big supporters of Django and are super excited for this figure. Um, I, I think it looks great. I'm going to be picking one up. But it's not one that I think I totally recommend to people that are maybe on a smaller budget or are new to Hot Toys. Um, I just think that there's just too many good Clone Wars figures that are coming out and Mandalorian figures and clones. And those are the ones that, you know, you can go all in on. But Django is definitely a better release for me than, like, uh, Death Watch Mando. Um, he's probably, like, on par with how I feel maybe about Coruscant Guard. Um, it's nice that you only have to get one of them. We're not going to be getting them for a while, obviously. Um... So you have time to think about it. But at 285, you're looking at 320, 320 shipped. If you're ordering it from Sideshow, maybe 305 if you're ordering it from a retailer, or 300 if you're ordering from a comic shop. Um, it's hard for him on a percentage basis to perform that well when you have other figures that are coming out a lot cheaper. Like you put this next to Qui Gon at 235, and you can see why Qui Gon or or Cody at 242. Like th this is an example of how you can see how good of a release Cody is. Cody comes with awesome accessories, extra head sculpt, and he's at 242, and this Django is at 285. It makes it harder for him to perform well uh, going forward on a percentage basis. But as always. These are just my thoughts. Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys super pumped for Django? Is this one that you're absolutely scooping? I saw. I know a lot of people, this is a day one pre-order for them. Let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to hit that description uh, section. Check out the merch store. See if there's anything you like. Cop it. You know it helps the channel. Um, helps me be able to afford to you know upgrade the material, upgrade the content, upgrade uh, the, the stuff that I'm going to be using. And don't worry. We Now that we are one past 1,000 subs, absolutely huge milestone. Again, thank you to all of you. Um, I am making some upgrades into the tech that I will be using and I'm going to be growing this channel a bit more and I'm going to be adding more things to do to the channel that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. But as always, this is Six Sale Economist. Buy the dip, sell the rip. This is the way. We'll see you in the next video.